Each week there are various rhythms that uh, members of the intentional community here at St. Paul's United Church engage in. So for instance, one of the things that everybody does every week is to serve in the community garden. Everything that comes out of our garden and goes into your body is all organic here. So one of the coolest things that we're doing here is kind of bringing urban farming into our local community because we don't have a whole lot of space to work with. So we found all these really quirky ways to maximize the yield in such a small space. So this here is what's called the potato condo. So what happens is we're literally planting rows of potatoes one on top of the other. So we're just about to add our second row here. So what we're going to do is going to add this exact same framework on top and then we're going to plant more potatoes right on top of these. And so eventually we'll be able to produce up to 100 pounds of potatoes in this small space. We also have um, a giant composter and a rain barrel. So everything, uh, weeds, dead leaves, scraps from food, everything that can be composted goes here. And so next year we'll have this amazing rich soil that can help our garden flourish even more. We also have a rain barrel so we can serve as much water as we can. We're all about the environment. Because we're working in such a limited space, a lot of times we try to grow upwards instead of outwards. So over here, we have cucumbers literally climbing the fire escape. So one of the coolest things about plants is they'll, they'll better themselves in order to get to the sunlight. So cucumbers and squash and all kinds of the beans do it as well. They will climb up things. So we hardly had to do anything to this cucumber. I just tied it to a little bit of chicken wire and it's done all that climbing itself. This is called an upside down tomato plant. So this can be hung from porches or whatever you have, whatever space you can find. And what happens is the tomato plant actually grows out of the bottom. And you can see some of the, the tomatoes are starting to grow. And it really maximizes space because it's not taking up any room on the ground. In this section, we've really tried to emphasize how you can reuse different things that would have just gone in the trash to build your garden. So here we had to, uh, tires donated uh, from a local store and we filled them with plants and we've been able to use them as raised beds. And the cool thing is, especially with the tires, because they're black and they're rubber, when the sun hits them, they heat up really quickly and then they'll retain the heat and keep the soil warm even if it cools off. So they're great for tomatoes because tomatoes love the heat. And the environmental aspect is uh, part of who I am, so definitely important to live with respect in creation and just make our own local changes and small actions and hopefully inspire others that way. This summer was the first time I planted a seed and to see the sprout pop out of the ground and grow and mature and finally be harvested, I felt like this proud mother. I had no idea that growing your own food could be so satisfying.